Let's talk about snow. Where does it come from? And what happens if you're running a ski resort and you don't have any? Well, don't panic. It's the theme of our Virtually Rick, so come with me. Let's get virtual. And before you, you see a particle. A snowflake forms and begins when water vapour freezes around a microscopic particle in the atmosphere. And these particles can be soot, or they can be pollen, or in this case, they're a microscopic particle of sand. And the water vapour freezes around it, and then more water vapour freezes onto that. And it grows bigger and bigger and becomes so heavy that it falls from the vapour cloud in which it was born, and bingo, you've got snowfall. If it falls, though, through moist air, a snowflake will then clump together with other snowflakes and create a very fluffy kind of snow down below. However, if a snowflake passes through cold, dry air, then you'll see that these snowflakes themselves stay separate, and as they land, they will then create dry, powdery snow, the kind that snowboarders really love to ride on. What happens, though, if you make a living from snow and it doesn't show up? I'm simplifying this a lot, but basically you pump water and compressed air up the slopes, or in this case, water and a giant fan, which then turns it into a fine mist. And if you add particles like dust or the molecules of sand, like we were mentioning earlier, then you get ice forming and snow forming far, far quicker. But you also need the right conditions. If the mountains are far from the ocean, then that means you've got drier air, which is just perfect for snow but too close to the oceans and you have too much humidity, which means that you get wet snow and the ice won't form. Oh, and also, you'll need temperatures near or below freezing. Yes, but Rick, what are the downsides, or as I like to call them, the downslope? Well, there are a couple of them, because fake snow only spends a short time in the air, and as you can see from my drawing, they're not big and fluffy flakes, so human-made snow is 50 times harder on the slopes and on your knees. And then there are some environmental issues. Taking water from local streams can impact plant and animal life. Covering your average mountain means a lot of H2O, enough for 50,000 people. And you also need the power to pump it up the mountain in the first place. And that's going to cost you a couple of million dollars a season. There's also another problem. Climate change is hitting this billion dollar industry right in the ski pants. Studies are showing an increase in the average temperature across the US mostly during winter, which means the ski seasons start later and are shorter, especially during Christmas week, where most resorts make their money. And that hits the people and communities around them hard. Add to that increased carbon emissions that mean the snow line will move ever higher. More rain than snow will make some resorts permanently snow free. And the future? It's about where we get our energy from. More carbon emissions means less snow. If that happens, then maybe we have to rely on biodegradable polymers, the absorbent plastic you find in diapers that expand when you add water to make fake snow. But the fact of it is, if only we spent more time caring for our environment, we wouldn't need our snow to be fake in the first place.